Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you are doing well. This is going to be my monthly update for 50 Shades of Purple. This is a Fantastic Ladies project and we were given the task of putting 50 purple or purple related products into one project. This is year long. Prior to today, I had either finished or met my goal on four items and for this update today, I have finished one more item and met my goal on two items. So there's three more items leaving this project. I'm super excited about that because I still have like 43 products to get through. So any progress is good. Yeah. My empty for this month is my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. I used every drop out of this that I could get and there's nothing else coming out of this. I've had this for a long time and I'm really glad I was able to finish this off because it was old and it's not, and it, it was a good mascara, but it wasn't an amazing mascara. And I have a lot of mascaras, so I'm really happy to have finished this. It feels great. The next item is one that I set a goal for. I set a goal for 50 uses and I met my goal and that is my powder from Anna Sui. When I originally put this into this product, I'd never used it even once. It was completely brand new. And in fact, I thought this was a blush. It turns out it is a face powder. I had no idea. Um, so I have now used this 50 times. I don't know if you could see all that wear and tear in the middle of this product but I actually feel like, I don't know, maybe I'm not that far away from hitting pan. It's really hard to say, but I would love to put this in a project for next year. And that is my plan is to put this back in a project for 2022. I think I have enough face powders to get me through the rest of this year, but hopefully I can work on this again. I really enjoyed this product. It's just a setting powder. There's not much to it, but it was good and it's fun. And of course, I'm going to be keeping this compact once I finish this product. So I will just keep repressing things into this. And the final item that I met my goal on is my Stila eyeliner in Tetra. My goal for this was 30 uses and I have now used it 30 times. This is another eyeliner that is not retractable. So I can't roll it up or measure progress, but I have used it 30 times. I'm not crazy in love with this eyeliner. It's good, but not great. There's something about it that doesn't really show up. It's not quite dark enough for me. So um, that's my only problem with it, but kind of an eyeliner's job for me is to be dark and to show up. So hopefully I could find a project to put this in and finish it off soon as well. But for now, this is gonna be put away. Okay, aside from those three products, I do have a handful of products to show progress on. I'm not gonna show you the other remaining 43 items in this project. Some of them I'm not using that consistently at all, but I have pulled some to the side that I've used at least once and I thought I'd show you. First of all, I have a new mark to make on my hair product. This is the Bed Head Small Talk. I do one pump of this every time I wash my hair, which is every three days, and I have a new line to make. It took three months to go from this top line to this middle line, and it took me two months to get from this middle line to this bottom line. So progress is finally going a little bit faster as this product gets lower to the bottom of this ball. But there's still quite a bit of product left and I'm just gonna keep working on it. I cannot wait to finish this. This is a big ball that sits on my bathroom counter and I won't miss it when it's gone. I do like to put a pump of like oil in my hair after I wash it, but this is just like an extra step I don't need. It doesn't do a whole lot and I'm just really looking forward to using this up and getting it out. Next, I have my body lotion. This is the Body Recipes White Chocolate Raspberry Body Lotion. I have a new mark to make on this one too. I know it doesn't look like it, but this is one of those where the product just sticks to the side. And actually when I look inside of this bottle, the fill line is down here. It actually might be lower than that, but that's where I marked it. I really like the scent of this. It has a very nice scent. And I like the formula of this. It's thin enough that I could wear it in on my arms in the middle of summer and not feel slimy. So this is a really nice body lotion and I'm glad I'm working on it. But that being said, I have a billion body lotions and I will not miss this once it's gone. 
So I'm really excited about the progress that I made on this. Some products that I used once over the past month include my perfume. I don't have a new line to make on it or anything. I'm right here, but I did use this once in the past month. I used my Revlon, um, what are these called? Kissable Balm Stain in Darling. Kissable Balm Stain in Darling one time, and I used my Butter London Glaze and Lip Glaze one time. So. Not a lot of progress, but I have used all of these at you know once in the past month. Next, I want to talk about a product that I didn't actually use at all in the past month, but thanks to you guys, I got some really good tips. This is ColourPop Sunbeam, and it is a crumbly mess. And I think normally I would even I would probably just toss this and call it a loss, but this is such a beautiful shade and it is a limited edition shade that I haven't been able to throw it away. And my plan was to buy Duraline, which I am still considering doing, but I haven't done yet. And I mentioned that at last month's update, several of you suggested that mixing some Maybelline baby skin primer in with this product is equally as effective as Duraline. So I went to my stash and I dug this out. I do have a brand new unopened bottle of Maybelline baby skin. And so I am going to be doing this soon. I just haven't had a chance to yet, but I wanna thank those of you who suggested that I do this. I really appreciate it. And I would have never in a million years thought to try this but I really appreciate it and I'm excited. When the first person left that comment, I was kind of like, hmm. But then when I saw like the second person, I thought there must be something to this. And then when I saw the third person leave that comment, I started to get excited to try this out. So I haven't had a chance to try it yet, but from the comments I got last month, several of you said that this will work just as good as Duraline and I'm looking forward to trying it because I have a brand new unopened tube right here. So I just wanted to point that out and to thank you guys who left that suggestion. Okay, and the last thing I wanna show you guys is my little small magnetic palette. I have seven shades in this palette that are all in this project with different goals and different uses. The main one that I've been focusing on is this crumbled mess down here. It's no name. It came from a very, very, very old eyeshadow palette. And I just want to use it 20 times and I am now up to 15 uses. So I did use it several times over the past month. Once I hit the 15 uses, I will clean this up. I will repress it into the pan and it will be out of this project. I will probably remove it from this palette and put it in another palette that's out of the bathroom. So it's a little bit safer. But I did also use this shade once in the past month. I think that's it. I think I only used this shade once and I used this shade like five times. So I have five more uses on this crumbly mess and then it'll be out of this project and I will repress it maybe in a different pan. I don't know. I don't know if I have any extra pans lying around, but I might. There's quite a bit of product just sitting around the palette, just making a mess. So I'm really excited to hit that goal and to roll it out and finally clean this up because this has just been a mess. So hopefully by next month, this palette will be looking a lot better because it's not pretty. I don't mind. I don't care. <laughs> that doesn't bother me. I know that bothers a lot of people when it's not pretty and they want to clean their makeup and it makes them want to use it more. That doesn't matter to me at all, but I know it matters to you. So I want it to look nice and neat for you guys for next month. But that is all I have to talk about for this update. I'm really excited to have met my goal on three items. That's unbelievable. I definitely think I will have my goal met for this crumbly purple by next month. But other than that, I don't think there's anything that I will have my goal met on or that I will finish by next month. I will have to regroup and decide what I wanna focus on once I hit my goal on that single shadow so that I can keep meeting my goal on items from this project. But that is it for this update. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it and I will see you in the next one. Bye.